Hi, it's Nick, Lord Illusion 72. This is another one of my little Roman building exercises, little ramble, and at the end of it, I'll let you know about my giveaway. So, uh, another week goes by so quickly. But, um, hey ho. So, this Saturday, as you probably gather from my video, it was my wife's birthday, and we went to um, Rochester Castle, which is literally about what seven miles or so. It's about a, t uh, a ten minute drive from where we live, so it's just across the River Medway, and um, we went up and down the uh, high street. Which is uh, sort of very Charles Dickensy and really old fashioned, as you can tell from some of the photos. <coughs> really old houses, lovely architecture, as you can probably uh, gather from my photos. I'm more sort of uh, interested in the uh, houses and taking pictures of my kids and stuff, which my wife don't, is not too happy with. But there you go. And uh, yeah, we had good fun. The castle keep is like completely gutted, but the uh, the towers. You can walk up the towers and um, go right to the top where the roof is. So I highly recommend it. For a family ticket, it's about £15 to get in. But we was in there for a good hour, so it's worth the money, I think. And uh, But we're going to go back there this Friday because there's tons of second-hand bookshops and antique shops. So we can't really drag the kids in there, so we thought we'd go back there this Friday. Which is good, and uh, I found this shop called uh, Models and Games. Hang on, I'll just check that on my notes. I made a note of the top. Yeah, no, sorry, it's called Games and Models, uh, and it's in the high. It's in the uh, the main street in Rochester. They're talking about moving soon, so to a bigger premises where they're going to have gaming tables and everything. So that sounds pretty cool. So you look them up on Facebook and like them, you'll get notifications on when they're going to move. As I say, I read. Cap. Yeah, it's definitely called Games and Models in Rochester. So look them up on Facebook. And uh, anyway, I went in the shop, and I couldn't believe it. It's tons of stuff. Even though it's a small shop, they've crammed nearly every sort of subject matter you could get on modelling, war gaming, paints, you name it. It's all in there. Even Games Workshop, which is uh, unusual. But in there, I managed to pick up. Some of these. Uh, tribes of Dromania. So that's cool. I believe it's the, the, uh, the same sort of tribes that managed to slaughter maybe one or two legions. I'm not sure if it was one or two. That was, so I thought I'd get some of them. And here we are. These are the actual... Got them out of the box. Pretty nice, as you expect from Warlord games, and it, they even come with lots of metal. I think there's about three metal figures in there, but a lot, a lot of options for shields and um, bits and bobs. Loads of heads, so that's cool. So if you get, you've got to look out for the the box with the the black border on it. If you get the box with the the complete cover, which is in picture form. I think it's the older box, or you get less troops in it anyway, and you don't get the metal bits, so look out for that. Oh, oh dear. So right, I've had a Kit Kat, it's uh, made me tired. I don't know if some of you know, but I'm type 2 diabetic, which um, is a bit of a pain when you want a bit of chocolate. Because my body can break it down, but it just takes a good hour and a half or so. So, so if, I, if I have a Kit Kat, I give it half an hour and I'm like lethargic and tired, but my sugar levels go a bit high, and then after an hour and a half, my body seems to like break it down and I'm alright again, but I shouldn't really be eating chocolate, should I? No, but hey ho, it's life isn't it, I mean, go have a bit of something that you like, nearly once a day. <laughs> I'm going to have a beer tonight, should be doing that really, but never mind. Never mind. 
What do they say about life? I don't know. Not much. Life's a bunch of roses, and then you, you, uh, I don't know. Nah, it's a bit more. I'm a bit get a bit morbid now, and I shouldn't get morbid. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm putting together these auxiliary Romans at the moment. And I have to be careful because this guy here, where is he? He's holding his, yeah, that, he's got a funny arm position. So you've got to be careful that you put the right arm on the right character, otherwise it doesn't work. I had him on this one, so I had to take it off and then re-glue it. But it's worked out, and I've just found out that there's a sword position that goes in one of these as well. So so they're not all um, random. These ones are quite set in the position to have them. There's not many random positions you can have them in. So, but I'm not bothered with that. That's fine. So hang on, I've got to be careful here. <laughs> I did this video last time, and I was sticking these Romans together. And then when I finished and turned the video off and uploaded it, etc., and then went back to the video, I thought, flipping hell, look at these. Um, didn't realise I did that look or that head tilt because I was so concentrating on what I was saying and I was just busily sticking stuff down on the figures that I had some really really weird random positions so I don't know if that was a good or a bad thing oh yeah my customer today they came in nice elderly couple and I showed them my figures I was doing and uh, I said I'd base them on one penny pieces I, d I didn't tell her that I've now got about 200 of them now Thanks to my mother, because I have to take out the bins and that to get paid, you know. And um, she gave me a one penny piece <laughs> to put one of my figures on. That was cool. It's a very nice lady, which is nice. All good. So yep, yeah, did a video this morning for uh, Spooky Fest, October Fest or whatever it is. I thought I'd better get an official one in because I wasn't getting picked up on who's who. So I thought if I do an official one. Warboss Tate might uh, catch me on his communications and put me on the uh, the list on who's doing what. I actually got a thumbs down for it this morning. I believe because whoever did the thumbs down obviously thought that the figures that I put up for the introduction, not the up, no update, not even a finished, just the introduction, thought the, the figures were the final thing, the final painted version, and all they were were just black undercoat with a bit of dry brushing on it to help me you know, see all the detail. So I, I, I suspect that's what it was, I'm not sure. Could be could, could because he just doesn't like my videos, but <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if the sun don't shine. I don't, she's my beauty. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Anyway, I suppose we better get on with my um, giveaway. It's just a bit of a thank you to all you lot in the community uh, for putting up with me. And um, so, yeah, I'll get on with it. Um, there's two prizes. They're not unbelievable, but I thought it might be something for someone who, out there that really likes it. So, the first prize, prize A, is a copy of Band of Brothers on, on DVD. The only thing you've got to be careful of, it's Region 2. There, see? So if you're living in America or Australia, I'm not sure, or you have to look up... I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I know it works in the, obviously works in the UK, um, Europe, but so check it out. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's, um, uh, it is actually my copy, but um, I won't go into... It's in mint condition, and it's a really, really... I mean, it's awesome. So and it's all boxed, and it's it's in mint condition. So there you go. That's prize A, my copy of Band of Brothers, watched by me. <laughs> and the second prize, okay, it's um, it's this it's Flames of War. But you know, if you want to get into Flames of War or you're into Flames of War, this is awesome because it's a const const <laughs> const I can't say it. const tiger const nig tiger. Con uh, Conix, Conix Tiger, Conix Tiger, and it comes with um, the Forschmiger tank riders on it, and you get the magnet, you get the transfers or decors, and you get the Panzerace dice, 
So yeah, it's all there. So yeah, two prizes that I'm giving away. And this is what you've got to do to enter. You have to do a video. Obviously you can't do a video response because they've taken that away, you know, the great people in uh, Google. So what you've got to do, you've just got to, you've got, obviously you've got to be subbed to me because I won't see your video otherwise. And you've just got to title it, The Lesions Giveaway. And what you got to do, you got to, you got, so you got to be writing this down as I'm saying. Um, basically, you're on a desert island, yeah, and you've got three answers to tell me. Three questions. I've got three questions to ask you. <laughs> I'm so backward. <coughs> I'm so backward, aren't I? Question one: If you was on a desert island, what game system would you have? And obviously, you're on a desert island. You could be there for years before you get rescued. So. So first question is, what would you have on a desert island, game system wise? That's question one. Question two, what make of paints will you take with you to paint all your figures in the game system? Because you're going to have loads of figures with you when the ship sinks. So, yep. Yeah. Question three, what music would you be happy to listen to? While you're removed, 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 while you're on this desert island, so you know to pass the time away while you're painting loads of minis. Question four: What alcoholic or non-alcoholic drink would you love to have? And that's the only drink you could have for the, you know, all that time you're on the desert island. So that's question four: What type of drink would you like to be stranded with? And question five: What type of food would you like to be left with? And that's the only food you could have for the rest of your time on the desert island. So that's five questions. Game system, make of paints, which isn't probably too many options. Question f um, three, what type of music? Question four, what type of food or drink, I mean, sorry. And question five, what type of um, food? Did you get all that? And what I'll do, um, some of you might not want there's two prizes. So there's prize A, which is Band of Brothers on DVD, and prize B, which is the uh, King Tiger Tank Riders and the tank. So if you want prize A, you say prize A. If you want prize B, you say prize B. If you want both prizes, you're more than happy. To, I'm more than happy for that. So um, you say both, and what will happen? I have two draws, and we'll go from there. All right. And obviously, if you enter both, you your name goes in both, both the drawers. So I think it's fairly easy. No painting involved. And I think I've waffled on enough because that took up enough time, I suppose. Because <laughs> I'm on this is my longest video I've ever done in my life. I'm on 13 minutes 13. So um, I will catch you later, and I hope you all you lot keep well out there. Especially my good friends out there, you all know who you are. And I'll catch you next time on a, another ramble. Alright, cheers. <laughs> Young again. <laughs>